When you want to do something great with your life, something that is beyond those visions other people around you see for themselves, they're going to try to tear you down. They'll tell you you can't do it, you don't have what it takes, you're just a dreamer. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. Their family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Who wants you when you're looking like this and been through this and been through that? Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. When they fight against you and your dreams of the future, that hurts. They won't see it like you do, but they don't have to. Only you do. You're the only one who has to see it for yourself. I want to win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. Don't let these opinions of other people pull you off course. How do you do that? You ignore and outwork each and every one of them. You see, while they watch you and talk shit about you, you put in more effort. You work diligently. You focus on taking things to the next level. They'll keep spreading rumors and you will keep working. They'll keep talking negatively, and you will keep working. They'll keep focusing on everything and everyone else, and you'll keep working. And when they finally take a look around at their lives and compare it to yours, they'll come to the realization that they have absolutely no valid reasons to criticize anymore. And they will be the ones to lose, while you will be the one to succeed. I will not be outworked. You may be smarter, you may be faster, you may be better than me in nine different categories, but you will never work harder than me. I will make my dreams come true. I don't care what it takes, I'll pay whatever price is required. Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. You gotta grind and hustle. You're gonna even have the doubt, the spirit of doubt is gonna kick in. And you're gonna say, why did I move out here? Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you crazy as a mom. You just gonna leave your city, the comfortability of your house, your family, your environment, all your friends, your loved one to go seek a dream and a seek something that you're passionate about absolutely don't expect people to understand you don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this why you have got to go why you leave this is a good job i'm going they pay you well i'm going why i don't understand you don't have to i'm going for me because i've made a different kind of commitment with my life this is something i have got to do because it's very easy to become your environment. It's very easy to become duplicates of the mediocre and average people surrounding you. So wake up every day and decide that you love yourself enough to commit yourself to you. If you concern yourself with what everyone else is doing and how everyone else feels about the things you're pursuing, you'll never get anything done. So you gotta focus on yourself. You've gotta focus on your dream, on your vision, on what it is you want in your life. 
You're supposed to live your life, focus on your intentions and do your thing. All the people that are living on the top have all decided that I'm going to commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal, training, education, no parties. They're going to call you names. They're going to say you're corny. They're going to call you a square. They're going to say that you're a weirdo because you don't f*** with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said, that I have decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. They are living beyond what is expected because they were obedient to the vision. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making making excuses, you will dominate every single person you're up against, and your limits become non-existent. If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can conceive it, you can attain it. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, it's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the head and say, we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You've got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listens to you, including sing it to yourself. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. And that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give. Is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and believe that everything is going to be all right. 
there are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What does the $500,000 a year person do The $50,000 a year person doesn't do? He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard in a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money in a little bit more. He saves money in a little bit more. If you want to win in business, you got to be tough and you can't quit. Somebody's going to win, you or him.